Hello, my name is Ernst Beint from thehockeysite.com. Let's talk about creating an animation using Playbook, Playbook in XPS. Playbook is only available on your laptop, not on your phone. So open XPS and click Playbook in the top menu. It will open in a separate window. Click the left icon in the menu on top to start either a new drawing or a new animation. In this case I will start a new animation. Creating a drawing is very similar. It will ask you to give it a name. Choose a good descriptive name. And you could choose to get started from scratch or open up an existing template. In this case, let's start from scratch. Playbook starts with the same field you chose last time. Because yes, you can choose from different fields. Click this icon in the top menu to choose another field for your animation. If you right click the empty field, that you have now, you will get a pop-up menu with some options. At the bottom, you'll see the option to upload your own field with, for example, your own colors or logo embedded. Replace background with custom image. If you have chosen the right size of your field for your animation, we turn to the left column. There are many, many, many options to represent players on the, on the field. I usually stick with the red and blue circles. But you can go crazy with numbered shirts, in your own colors, add names, etc, etc. As you can see, adding some cones and some players is easy. Add a ball to player 1 and we can start animating. For the purpose of this demo, we'll keep it simple. Player 1 passes the ball towards player 2 in movement, we'll move the other players as well. When we click a player with a running line, Click again and make a turn to end the run with a right click, like we just did. Next in the top menu, we click the icon for the progression to frame 2 from our animation. By the way, you can zoom in or choose the number of columns here to make it fit your screen. You'll see uh, it opens with all the objects in the end position from the previous frame. And we add dribble with the ball and some extra movement here. When we click Click Animation, you will see the simple animation come to life. Sorry, the Play Animation button is hidden behind me now, but it is here. <laughs> it does not so, look so nice yet, a bit slow and unnatural maybe. So let's fix that. We go back to fix the timing. We select frame 1 and instead of the standard 2 seconds per frame, we'll speed it up to 1 second, so the ball moves at an acceptable speed. Next, we click the running line for player 2 and set it to start with a delay of half a second.
In frame 2, we change the 2 seconds into 1.5 and speed up the running line for player 1. This to show you how you can play with speed and delays to make your animations more realistic. Again, we click Plick Animation, Play Animation and see the difference. When I go back to our playbook, you'll notice the button below. So when I go back to our playbook, there we go. You'll notice the button below next to the play button. Again, a little bit hidden behind me, but it says insert to. So this one will insert your animation into a drill or a document you were working on to store it and for ease of sharing later on. But let me take you to the export button in the top menu for now. And show you the option to export your animation as a video file in frame mode. When I select these options, it will create a video file where first you will see the regular video animation, next it pauses and shows you the frame by frame mode including the arrows, pause and again show you the regular video. Let me show you what I mean. Now it's creating the video. Waiting for the frames to export. We give the video a name. Demo testing. Uh, we just do this in that, say that folder there. Creating the video. Okay, now we're going to open up. Where we are we? We're going to open up the. Go. We go open up the video file. Let's look for downloads. Demo testing mode. And put it nice and in the frame here. So this is the video file that we just uh, created. If I click the play button, you will see what I meant. Regular video. Frame mode showing the arrows, and regular video again. As you can see, this makes for a good explainer animation for your place or small-sided games, for example. Anyway, this allows for the option to store these animations both within XPS as well as on your own hard drive to share in different ways. That is all. As usual, the golden tip is just do it. Start experimenting and before you know, you have a nice library of your plays, your drills and games. Enjoy!